After you've laid out your pipe system, the next step is to provide data. The primary system data, the units, and the head loss equation are normally set when you start off with a new system. However, we can set these or check these under system data. We have a units of gallons per minute, the head loss equation of Hayes and Williams. This is okay for this illustration, so we'll go back to the map. Now the principal data that we need to provide is data for each pipe link in the system and for each node in the system. And in order to do that, you select the pipe link or node, and on the right under the information windows, the pertinent data will appear. For example, I select this pipe link, and I can go over here and set the data. Now a very useful feature of Pipe 2000 is setting the pipe type which will allow us in one operation to set the diameter, select the material, the rating, and also a roughness. So I'll select the pipe type and from the list which you can configure I'll select say a 6 inch steel pipe. Now those, that information has been set. Now also the roughness is calculated based on the installation year or the reference year and I could enter a different year here, for example, uh, 1980. And this will set the roughness based on that year of 105. Now the other things I can do here, I can set the fittings. Here's a fittings list. If I select this, the pop, the uh, selection chart will appear. I can enter as many fittings as I want from this and these will be added up. And I can also put in other minor loss coefficients. So the principal data for pipes is entered in this fashion. If we want to enter node data we select a node and the data will be configured based on the type of node it is. For junction nodes we have demands and demand types. For reservoirs, we have the grade and the elevation of the connection. All nodes have an elevation. For pumps, we have data for the ID, the head flow data. If it's a data table pump, well, we can also select a pump of constant power and just enter the power. For tanks, we can enter the maximum and minimum elevation, giving the draft of the tank, uh, we can enter the shape, we can enter a fixed diameter, but the point is that each node has unique data properties which will appear under the node information. So the process is to go through each node and each pipe until your data entry is complete.